Since the start of the pandemic, areas around the country have reported dangerously low supplies of donated blood. And the basin, we're told, is no different. Big Two's Jake Eichstead was at the local blood drive this afternoon, where they offered a unique incentive to draw in donors. He joins us now. Jake, you actually got to donate blood yourself. So what's different now than the times before the pandemic began? Well, Gian, they're trying to solve this severe shortage by offering a free COVID antibody test. And this can be a couple hundred dollars at private clinics. So it's a really good reason to go out and save some lives. We're collecting blood as always. It never stops. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Vitalant says it's experiencing a dangerously low turnout for blood donations, prompting them to think outside of the box. They're using a free COVID-19 antibody test to incentivize people to donate. Better yet, they say it's working. And it's, it's been really good uh, yesterday. As a matter of fact, we were inside the mall and we collected 29. So you figure 29 times 3. You're saving lives. More people coming because of that uh, antibody testing. And I hope that everybody that's doing that will continue donating. And we need outcomes like this every drive. Just today, they received enough blood to help over 60 people. And guys, I'm about to do the double red cell test, which could save six lives compared to three lives of the whole blood test. The big difference, time. The whole blood takes less than 10 minutes, while the double red cell takes more than 20. They are also using two buses, one for screening interviews and the other to actually draw blood. And we have that because of the distancing. Some were in and out of the blood mobile within 15 minutes. And they say signing up online beforehand is recommended. Very easy. You can start off with scheduling, which I do recommend that because it, it helps with crowd control because we do take appointments in first. Always schedule the day before the drive, not the day of, because you won't be on my list. Once you're done uh, doing that, you can do the fast track. You just go to our webpage and do the fast track, or it might be under a health history questionnaire. You can uh, do a screenshot on your phone, or you can do a printout at home on your computer. And then you just get here, we check you in. Tomorrow they will be at the YMCA in Midland from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And hopefully it will be as busy tomorrow as it was today. Hopefully, Jake. Well, can you explain what the difference is between the two tests you mentioned? Sure. So the double red cell test, which takes a little bit longer, filters the saline back into your blood and that helps rehydrate you. And this will help prevent you from feeling a little bit woozy afterwards. I know a lot of people complain about that. And the whole blood means they take all of the blood that will be used. And they also recommend you bring a designated driver if you do do that test. And I am a, a, excuse me, I am a negative blood type, which actually is in particular very short supply. So it felt very good to potentially save six more lives. So everybody go out yeah. and donate if you can. And it also sounds like a very good alternative for COVID-19 testing. So everyone make sure to go Absolutely. out and donate. Jane, thank you.